Welcome to part number 15 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to do the Toon Car Championship. Now, I want to point out one thing real quick. First, I went and bought this Fiat Coupe Turbo Plus from the used car dealership for the Italian Festival. And none of these cars interest me for any future events. But yeah, originally we were going to do the Gran Turismo World Championship, but our car for this event, which is the R33 Touring Car, it's heavily underpowered. So instead, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some money, and I figure the second best event we can put this car up to would be the Tuned Car Championship. So let's go to the first Expert Series race. Here it is, the Tuned Car Championship, or the Tuning Car Grand Prix. Five races, Suzuka, Daytona, Grand Valley, Special Stage Route 5, and Tokyo. Typical opponents? Yeah. The Amuse S2000s, the Mine Skylines, they're going to be a pain in the ass, so that's why I'm using this R33. And you know what? We're going to put... We'll put Kobayashi up to it. Yep, the HKS is the first car, of course. Rafar GT... Mine's Lancer, mm-hmm. Amuse Carbon R, yeah. So we got some heavyweights in here. Got an S2000 right behind us, yep. Hey, Fabinator, how you doing? So yeah, we got the S2000, we got the HKS CT230R, and we got the Carbon R. Those are definitely going to be the heavyweight competitors here. So, let's go get some cash for our upgrades. Came here to see Kamui run. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he does a good job in this championship. If not, then uh, we're going to have to do some money grinding, which I really don't want to right now. Not on stream, at least. So far, so good. Really good start. Looks like the Amuse is going to get stuck behind one of the back markers. Nope, he gets around him. HKS has really clear track ahead of him, so he's going to have a chance to pull a pretty decent gap in the beginning. That Amuse is really, really aggressive. Let's maintain the pace. Well, we gained one spot. The R34 goes wide. Maybe we can get him into the hairpin. I think Kaboy's feeling really overwhelmed. No, he's going to get it. Have a good exit. Yep. We got the spot. So we need him to pick up the pace a little bit more. I feel like once he gets past these back markers, he'll start doing better. This is a long race after all, so I'm not too concerned about track position right now. Maybe a pass into 130R? Nope, it's too far back. Okay, well he gives him the bumper. Passing through the chicane, maybe? Maybe. Man, that rough RGT is keeping up with the HKS. That's a huge surprise. Yeah, this car was like a perfect fit for this championship, for sure. 
Ooh, Kamui with the pass and the S's. Nice. Up to third. If I remember in GT5, in GT5, the RGT was a very good car. Yeah, dude, it's a good car in every Gran Turismo it's came out in. He's really keeping that HKS car company. I use it as a weapon for the 500 PP races. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully we can get one in this playthrough. We'll see. If we do, we're not using it in B-Spec because I really like that car. Kamui into the lead. Nicely done. Ooh, Maxwell in the Amuse. Really wide. This is really early to say, but that could be an implication for the title. You never know. We're pretty much all on par. Kamui was just the one who kind of outsmarted everybody else, but... Yeah, I mean, he has a lower level than the requirements, I guess, for this particular race. So, if anything, if he ends up winning, I think that's going to increase his level quite a bit. What a gorgeous car, honestly. Like, what a really nice R33. Nice and easy through the chicane. There we go. I love to see, I'd love to see somebody have a beast pick driver named R Hayami at least. It would fit the number 76 on the car. It would, dude. Unfortunately, I haven't ran into a Hayami name at all when selecting a new driver, so yeah. Couldn't really get that done, sadly. Don't force his pace too much, pay attention to his physical strength. Yeah, I'm trying to keep him in the middle right now. I can imagine his physical strength completely running out by the last lap. So that's the thing too. I don't want him to get any crazier with his pace. Everybody else behind us, you know, they're super hot. Look at them. Maxwell, LaRusso, and Ishii all in the red. Kobayashi's in the middle. That's where I want him. Just kind of leaving Kobayashi alone right now. Going back and giving him a command every once in a while. Not every once in a while, but you know. Just kind of glancing at this battle here. Yeah, Kobayashi's losing some strength. But so are these guys. Ooh, the fair lady by Pellegrini, maybe he can get the Amuse's fourth place? Maybe? Just nice and easy through the chicane once again. I can't tell if Ishii's closing the gap, or it's just the fact that they're all going through the chicane slowly that it looked like he closed the gap a lot. Alright, what's the gap between ourselves and Ishii? 4.4 seconds, not bad. Hey, what's going on, Danube? How you doing? You know, for a level 11 driver, I think he's level 11, but going and doing a level 16 event, I'm really impressed, or 15, I'm still really impressed with him.
You know, we might have Vargas do the World Championship. Is this an American how are you, like, with no response or a question? W what do you mean? Ooh, the fight for second is still intense. RGT is getting closer to him. Which, of course, is helping us out. All right. I just want to see the rough get up to second. Because I know the rough is not going to really be a contender, maybe around like Daytona. I feel like the Amuse is going to be the car to beat at Daytona. So I definitely want the points to be mixed up, you know? So now what's the gap? Five point eight seconds, nice. Increased a little bit, which is good enough for me. Ishii's starting to take it a little bit easy. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to get things sorted out just a little bit. Okay, Loruso is getting hot once again. Ishii, yeah, a little bit. Maxwell's still relatively calm. Well, no. Lewis will hold the spot, please. Don't let him get by you. Let's go on board with Kobayashi for a little bit. You know, the most important part is that he's being really smooth through the screen curve. That's all I can ask for. This fight, ooh, the Amuse is starting to catch up to him. Ah, I knew it. Knew Maxwell was going to get him eventually. That was some weird breaking from him. Ishii off. What the hell just happened? Oh my god, he parked to the side? <laughs> wow. He just busted a Sanchez. Dude, that's going to be a huge, huge implication for the title. Whatever can help out Kobayashi, right? Oh, the gap is starting to close down a lot. Ooh, we need Kobayashi to pick up the pace. Yeah, I, I was too focused on watching the battle behind us. We need him to pick up the pace. But if LaRusso can get closer to Maxwell, that'd be good. Make him feel more pressure.
Yeah, that was completely my fault for not watching him more than I should have. Maxwell did get loose into the hairpin, so that might help us just a little bit. Russo starting to lose the gap to Maxwell, which, damn it, <laughs> sucks, but you know what, whatever. It's only the first round, anything could happen in the next two rounds. Oh, no, 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 I meant to hit maintain pace, damn. No! Come on, Kobayashi, get back on track, get back on track. Yes! Nice recovery. What's he doing? <laughs> American style restart, one lap to go. Okay. Oh no. Come on, Kamui. Well, you know what? All those shenanigans allowed the rough to close the gap on the S2000, so that could help us out. You know, this could be the, well, this is the first race that he's gone off track ever in his career with us. But at the same time, we can't really get angry with him or anything because we're having him do such a higher level event at a lower level. So yeah, look at his strength and mental strength. It's all the way down. However, this victory, if we're able to win, it should increase his level a lot. Not like by a huge margin, but at least maybe from 11 to 13, hopefully, or 12. Yeah, he's really exhausted. Look, all of his strength is gone. Maxwell just has a little bit more strength, but not by a whole lot. I know his strength is completely gone, but we just need one more time through the 130R corner and the chicane. We just need him to go through there one more time. Only a few more corners to go. He's literally got this almost in the bag. We just need him to be smooth through here. Just bring it home. Come on. Just bring it home. Yes! Oh my god, that was such a huge relief. I really thought he was going to throw it away, but nope. He still manages to come back and win it. Hell yeah. That was easily his most intense race that he's ever done. And we have four more rounds of the championship to go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, 19,000. Level 17. Wow, already. Level 12. Knew it. More experience for him. I think I might use this replay for a thumbnail. Possibly. And time for round number two at Daytona. Yeah, dude. The first round was really nuts. Congrats to Kobe Austria for the win. All right. I'm going to have to make some adjustments to the card for this round. I want to say downforce wise, remove some of the downforce. Eh. No, I think we can keep the downforce. Those downforce levels should be good enough for the banking. Although this is going to be dumb because we're going to have a grid start at Daytona. On the banking. <laughs> Imagine in real life we had a grid start like this. He 
Yeah, see, that's the problem. She gets stuck behind one of the cars. Not a lot of room here. I miss racing. Have to play GT4 later today. Dude, I will be there when you stream GT4. I love your playthrough, man. Seriously. Oh! Oh! The fair lady! Nearly loses it. In before the big one at Daytona. <laughs> Imagine. Outside pass, maybe? You're welcome, dude. Look at that. Two generations of Skyline. R33 and R34. Going wheel to wheel. In the International Horseshoe. I think that's the East Horseshoe, actually. I don't know. It's one of the Horseshoe Corners. I can't remember which one. I have to pull up a map or something. All right. In the banking, he should have no problem getting around the GTR that's ahead of him. Okay, the International Horseshoe is turn three. So yeah, that's the other horseshoe. I don't know what name it is, but it's one of them. I'm loving your GT5 playthrough and never even seen it before you streamed it. Really? Well, I'm glad I'm the first one to show you the gameplay for this. So it looks like we're struggling quite a bit on the banking, but maybe in the corners, I think we're doing okay. Okay, the rough might be the best car on the at Daytona. I could be wrong about the Amuse. Down to turn number one. Dude, Kobayashi's closing the gap a lot. The tire barrier on the chicane on the back straight is questionable. Yeah. <laughs> I hate how the chicane is, like, unrealistic in this game. Because the one in Daytona, it's more of a chicane than, you know... I mean, the bus stop is, it's more of a chicane than it is, like, a left, right, straight, than right, left. Yeah, dude, I have it and I... Ugh. Yeah, dude, I have it and all just never touched it because of six and sport but i'll get into it hopefully soon yeah dude i'd love to see you play this game dude like that's the thing zero beat 2004 was saying like i want to stop playing this because you say it sucks and it's like this game doesn't suck i just think it's like it's my least favorite in the series in terms of the um regular entries because if you had counted sport as a regular entry sport would be my least favorite but anyways the thing is is that while it's not as polished and like easy to navigate and a lot of tedious grinding unlike let's say four and six it's still fun nonetheless how fast are these guys going yep the amuse okay I was right we're going faster in the banking Oh, and by the way, Marvin, I'd love to have you on the stream one of these days for the endurances. The same for anyone. Anyone that wants to join the stream, more than welcome to when I get to the endurance section. How fast am I going? I'm going faster than these guys. Okay, this could be the thumbnail. Honestly, because now it's the top three cars in the entire series battling in Daytona. So I think this is going to be the thumbnail, honestly. I was going to do when the when Kobayashi went off track, but no, I, I like this shot more. That'd be awesome, dude. Very excited for your Mario Kart playthrough as well. Yeah, dude. Because <laughs> that one is going to be... That one I'm looking forward to as well. I just got to work out some... Scheduling conflicts, and then once we get that done, you know, it's going to be basically a four-man playthrough, which... <laughs> Yo, standstill chicane. What's up, Francisco? How you doing?
Yeah, I don't want him to pass in this corner. I want him to pass him in NASCAR 2. Just got back and already doing GT4. Lil, how about you? Well, doing GT5. <laughs> As you can see. But, I'm doing alright, man. Thanks for asking. Oh, Chicane, the Le Mans 3 hours is this Friday. Think it's possible? Oh, it's this Friday? You know what? Um, funny thing you mentioned that, um, Arthur, because my uh, my professor on Friday is actually um, actually is gonna is canceled class, so I'll be able to. I thought it was last Friday. Yeah, dude. I I, I think I might be able to do the three hours. I'll let you know. I don't know yet. Oh, Kobayashi, don't break on the banking, please. Around the outside, maybe? Oh, he decided to close the door. Maxwell, dirty blocker. All right. Sounds good, bro. Get him into the International Horseshoe, please. Oh, he's got the run. He's got the run. No, Maxwell closes the door again. Maxwell gets a little loose. I'll be doing the 24 Hours of Le Mans with Chicane Race on GT4 that Friday too, then 100% A spec. Really? Nice. Francisco, do you make YouTube content? I would love to see that. Maxwell might be dirty, but not as much as GT Sport players. I know, right? <laughs> At least here in the Americas, it's like... It's like the Brazilians always punt people while the Americans always like do dirty blocking and dirty tactics. Rarely I probably might stream it. Yeah, dude, I would love to see you stream it, dude. Outside move? No. Oh, freaking Maxwell with the block again. Where's Charlie Whiting when you need him, man? <laughs> Okay, once it gets a little bit closer, then I'll hit the overtake button. Now. He clearly has a run. You don't know how you're going to set up your phone? You don't have a capture card? There we go. Finally, he got around him. Nice overtake. No, I don't. Uh, damn. <laughs> Hopefully you can get one soon, dude. That'd be cool. What's going on for the fight for third? Ooh, the Amuse Carbon R. Alright. I see you. Dude, he's just like lurking in the background. EC is like calm for whatever reason, while Davison is really hot-headed. I probably mount on the phone. Oh, if I don't, ha if I have a capture card, I would mass produce content like a madman, except grinding. Yeah, grinding is the. That's what really ruined my let's play for Gran Turismo 6. See, not many people know this. Only like Marvin and Abstract Sky know this, but. I originally did a GT6 Let's Play when I first started my channel, but I wasn't having fun with it because I decided to include money grinding a lot into it and using a bunch of cars. Like, I was trying to drive every single car in the game, but it became boring for me. Like, it wasn't fun, so I canceled the whole entire project, and I was like 75% of the way through the game because it just wasn't fun. You know, I wasn't enjoying the content I was making. So that's when I decided to go back to the drawing board. I kind of learned how to do you know, proper content where it's serious, but at the same time it's fun, like this. And yeah, I've been enjoying Let's Play so far. Hmm. 
Maxwell is starting to lose ground to Kobayashi. So I'm going to maintain this pace. That's where I want his pace to be. Yeah, Maxwell is getting to the cool side. Two to go. Look how much strength he gained. Proper moving content, not the standstill stale content. <laughs> Well, yeah, like I was saying, dude, um, Kobayashi's just gained a lot of mental strength and physical strength from that one Suzuka round. Like, this is more than he's had before. I think last time, he only had, like, maybe 10% of his strength left. Now he has about 25, which makes a huge difference. Okay, we won't make the same mistake as last time. So I'm going to ask him to maintain this pace one more time. Then we're going to take a look at the fight for third real quick. Ooh, Pellegrini and the Fair Lady coming out of nowhere. Loruso in sixth. Kobe actually got some udon after the race of Suzuka. He'll probably get a hot dog here. <laughs> nah, most likely a hamburger, bro. Well, I would prefer Ishii to keep third place because he did finish at what sixth place last time. So I want these points to be shooken up as much as possible. I know I said that before Suzuka, but still, repeating it again because that's ultimately what I want, you know. Final lap. You know what? Let's ride on board with. Kobayashi for an entire lap. No pressure from behind. He's pretty much got this in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and finish some dealership events for the 35%. I'll shoot for 40% today. Nice, dude. Hope you get there, bro. Nice and smooth through the International Horseshoe. Yep, there we go. Hey Marvin, do you remember back then when, um, remember at the Long Beach Grand Prix when we were trying to do the Mazda challenge to go to Daytona for 2019? Dude, I'm, I looked at the, um, International Horseshoe and I was just like, oh my god, dude, like, freaking Christian Steele just absolutely nailed that corner. Because that's the one we kept screwing up at, like, trying to get as many tenths of a second out of the car as possible. Yeah, I think Kobayashi's going to do good. I mean, his strength is still up there. His mental strength is about halfway gone, but... You know, he's doing good. He's doing really good. Holy crap! Look at the gap he pulled out! Dude, Pellegrini, come on! Come on, Pellegrini! Get the spot! Get the spot! Come on! Come on, dude. You got this. Yes! Awesome! No, it's not over. It's not over yet. Oh, my God! Dude, they're going at it for second place. Come on. Dude, I want him to get... I want him to get third. I want these points to be shooken up as much as possible in case Kobayashi makes a mistake. Come on, come on. Come on, Pellegrini. You got this, dude. He has more momentum than the S2000 does. He just needs to find that gap. No, I didn't see him do his run, but that's the one corner I screwed up at. Dude, this fight for second is intense. Photo finish. Oh, dude, he tried going in the apron. Just could not get it. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> Damn it. So 75 more points for Maxwell, but 100 po more points for Kobayashi. So whatever. Damn, that would have been even sweeter. If he had lost more points. But you know what? Whatever. 50 point lead for Kobayashi. Level 13. Nice. Yellow is out of bounds. <laughs> Not in NASCAR. Oh, actually, it is in NASCAR. Because freaking NASCAR robbed um, Justin Haley of his Xfinity win. 
in the July race, which was bullshit. Alright, Grand Valley Speedway. I think I'm going to increase downforce here. I want to say 28 in the front and about 53 in the rear. Oh, shoot. I forgot to save the replay. <laughs> oh, well. It's it's whatever. I have the replay from Suzuka, so that's that's all that matters. So I increased downforce here because obviously the middle section of Grand Valley is more technical than you know, more technical than Daytona. So yeah, I think the increased downforce will help us out here. But anyways. Round number three. The Amuse is struggling to get around the back markers this time. Of course, Ishii and the HKS pulling away already. Clear track ahead of them. Yeah, the pass on the hairpin would be way too late. That's why I just told him to maintain his pace. I saw that NASCAR finish. It was BS. They took it away from him because it was a. Yeah, dude, like, that's the thing. Justin Haley made that move after, like, okay, Justin Haley passed, um, who was it, Larson and Elliot Sadler? And he passed them and went under the yellow line after the move was completed. And NASCAR's like, nope, you made the move while going under the yellow line. It's like, no, that's bullshit. He went under the yellow line after the pass was made. I guess rules are rules, but, dude, like, you pretty much robbed the. Nope. <laughs> Almost rage quit. You pretty much robbed the kid of his first Xfinity win, dude. Like, that was so, that was so much BS. Dude. I was really mad after that. Like, the two Daytona finishes, like, that race and Austin Dillon's Daytona 500 win really, really made me hate the track even more. I'm just like, dude, like, two BS calls? Like, come on. I personally thought Dillon's wreck was bullshit, but... Whatever, I guess the rules are the rules, or NASCAR has the final word. They have the final say, I suppose. Anyways, you can't cross a line on an oval, but they run about a mile over the curve at the corner of Sonoma, and that's fine. Well, in some tracks, you can run on the dog leg. I mean, not the dog leg, the apron. Like, Auto Club Speedway, Michigan, you could run on the apron on, in NASCAR. But I guess it's a safety thing at Daytona because of how steep the banking is there, but I don't know, dude. The rules are really inconsistent sometimes. Well, Kobayashi hasn't advanced that much in the first lap, but you know what? It's a long race. And Maxwell is running fourth, so that's all I really care about. And besides, if we lose one race and we win the championship, we can just use the Red Bull off screen to win the remaining races, so it doesn't really matter all that much, to be honest. We need him to start picking up the pace. He's losing a little bit of ground. Okay, now he caught up. Damn, he's right on his bumper. Okay, I'm back and taking a break before doing the DTM championship. All right. Damn it. Got up to the podium. Dude, Kobayashi's having a hard time around Grand Valley. Deutsch Tourwagen Monsters. Tourwagen.
Galore are definitely touring cars still. <laughs> We need Kobayashi to be more aggressive. I mean, nothing's really working right now. Damn it. Maxwell's up to second now. RGT had some trouble. Come on, follow Pellegrini. Or get around him. Okay, on the outside. Nice. Damn, he held off Kobayashi. Ew, the price is 75k, that's low. Master since 2000, Meistercraft before that. Ah, okay. Well, Kobayashi got two for one, up to third. Now the big three are running together once again. You know what, if I lose, or if Kobayashi loses, I want Ichi to win the race. Again, I know I said this already, but we need the points as mixed up as possible to increase Kobayashi's shot of winning the title. Okay, since we have the big three back together, I could save the Grand Valley replay thumbnail. I know, but this will be with older GT4 DTM cars. Uh, I gotta learn patience here. Like, <laughs> like, this is probably the toughest race so far that Kobayashi's been in. I mean, yeah, he led Suzuka and then he almost lost the race. Just saw that you have 165 subs. Oh, nice! Thank you. By the way, what's up, Mikhail? How you doing? We're doing the um, Tune Car Championship. So Kobayashi right now is um, r running with the R33 Touring Car. His main competition is Ishii and Maxwell throughout this whole series. Yeah, dude, this Nissan is sick. Thank God for the DLC. <laughs> of course, you know I gotta run the number 76. What's up, Barney? How you doing? Okay, I gotta remember, his strength is going down a lot. Into a pass before the chicane, maybe? Nope. So keeping that in mind... Oh, you're right, then, Francisco. Sorry for my idiocracy. <laughs> my idiocy. I said idiocracy. I love that movie. <laughs> Number one, we got this guy not sure. Number two, he's got a higher IQ than any man alive. And number three, he's going to fix everything. Currently preparing for my final race of the season on my racing league, and we'll be using number 76 as well. Nice, bro. I run a number 76 in the TRS Endurance League. Idiot democracy. <laughs> Three laps to go. Kobayashi is losing a lot of strength. What's Maxwell's strength like? Oh, it's down there too. So is Ishii's. Ishii's a little bit better because he's been just dominating this race from the moment the green went out. And I'm not really surprised that he has more strength than us.
I guess the goal for this race now is obviously to win, but if we can't, second place. As long as we finish ahead of Maxwell, I'll be satisfied. Oh, outside pass? Ah, oh, it's a little bit too aggressive. In before we race each other in Endurance Race League, and we both have the 76. Now, in that case, I would run probably... I don't know. It, I think numbers in that kind of case is like first come, first serve. So if I had to choose an alternative number, it would probably be 77, I guess. Because number one, close to 76. Oh, no, 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 Maxwell, do not pass him. We will pass you first. Come on, Kobayashi, get the spot. Dude, Maxwell, what the hell is Ishii doing? Dude, pick up the freaking pace, come on. Dumbass, I swear. Oh, Amuse went wide. Dude, this fight right now, oh my god, the, in the emotions right now are intense. Maxwell's super hot, 24 or 41, uh, gotcha. Mine would probably be 77 because of Dan Weldon. But yeah, 76 because of Renna, but 77 because of Dan Weldon. Or 98, no, 98 because of Weldon. Come on, make the move, Kobayashi. I know you're feeling weak right now. I know you're tired, dude, but please, this is for the championship, dude. Your first major series. I would use 31, 27, or 7. The drifting for Maxwell, he would have won the drifting competition. <laughs> Formula Drift driver incoming. Oh my god. Nicely done, Kobayashi. Hell yeah. I don't mind if Kobayashi finishes second. As long as he finishes ahead of Maxwell, your main is 31. How come you're not running the 31 in TRS, dude? If I may ask. Did someone else choose that number already? Or... It was, uh, Belvika, huh? Doesn't he run the 31? I think? One of those Toyotas runs the 31. Yeah, someone else has it. You used 22? Nice. Oh, damn it. Wrong command. Belvika? Yeah, I think it's him. Alright, Kobayashi, they chose 31 and 27. Racing numbers we use. <laughs> Usually, numbers have meaning, except for like Raikkonen. I think he runs a 7 because he had 7 the year before you could choose numbers, and that's it. I think that's what he said. How much strength does Maxwell have? people don't want 69. <laughs> We're gonna lose run 69 in NASCAR when he trolls people. It's pretty funny. Alright, Kobayashi. This is your one shot to take the lead. Come on. Yes! Awesome pass! Come on, make it stick, make it stick! Oh my god, dude, yes! My racing number is also 76, but we we're racing each other on the MTG Rosary Cup, past the 64. Although my alt is 97, because you're the great games, GT being one of them. Nice! Oh my god, like, my freaking heart is pounding right now, dude. I am not kidding, guys. Like, I am just so tense right now. Like, dude, he only has one more lap to go. He has absolutely no strength left. I said make it stick. Did I say stick? Yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much mixed the words up, I guess. <laughs> I meant to say stick. Dude, if Ishii can finish second, that'll be even sweeter. Oh my god, come on, Kobayashi. You only have a few more corners to go, dude. Oh, he's going wide! He manages to save it, though. We should race, make it 76 racing team TMC. Oh my god. I think things are a little bit sorted out for Maxwell. I mean, he's pretty much going to finish third, but 
the win. If Kobayashi can win this, dude, he is an absolute freaking legend on my team then. We need him to pace down a lot more, though. Because he has no more strength left. Just one more corner to go, baby. Come on. You got this. You got this. Yes! Only leads one lap, but the one that matters the most. He leads the freaking final lap. Oh my god. This guy's a freaking legend, I swear. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, that w what an intense race. Waves to the crowd, buddy. You deserve that one. Now he has a 90 point gap between himself and Maxwell. If he can just finish 10 points ahead of Maxwell, Kobayashi wins the championship. It's nearly clinched. Yes, I want to overwrite this file because this race is even better than the Suzuka one. So that needs to be a thumbnail. Round number four, special stage route five. And I'm going to decrease the downforce just a little bit because I think I gave him a little bit too much downforce. So yeah, a little bit too tight. That should be good enough. Oh my god, man. I'm still buzzing over that win. Holy crap. I, I didn't even think Kobayashi was going to win that race, dude. I thought he was going to finish maybe fourth or third. But, like, the fact that he made it happen at the very end was just awesome. All right. Round number four. All Kobayashi needs to do is score 11 more points than, than uh, what's his name, Maxwell. And he wins the championship. Stuck behind the R32, but it's okay. being more patient with Kobayashi just because like this is a long race for sure but it's like I know that he just needs to score only a handful of points to clinch this thing most importantly he needs to finish ahead of Maxwell who's running in third right now but you know what the way he was running at Grand Valley I'm not too concerned On the outside of the golf, maybe. He should get them on the straightaway. Up to fifth. Ishii is... He's not out of the championship running, but... Or he might be. I don't know. For sure, it's between myself and... Or Kobayashi and, and uh, Maxwell. Definitely. But... Ishii might have like an outside shot. I don't know. I forgot how many points he had. He had like 175. And if he did, then he's pretty much out of it completely. But if he didn't, if he had a little bit more, I mean... I'm not too concerned about him. It's just Maxwell I'm really concerned about. Nice. Give him the good old chrome horn. Up to fourth. Only one more spot to go, dude. 
Like I said, I don't even care if he loses this race. As long as he clinches the championship, that's all I care about. LaRusso is holding him up, which is good. It's going to help us out a little bit. Maxwell lost a little bit of a gap, but I think he'll be able to gain it back once he gets on the straightaway. You're spooked by this race? <laughs> Noodles, what's up, dude? It's been a long time. Dude, you've been missing out on some of the best moments in B Spec. Dude, I've been, I'm doing GT5 B Spec because I, you know, I was telling Marvin, dude, B Spec sucks, it's mandatory, but you know what, dude? This is so much fun. Like, you know what, guys? I'm seriously considering, like, even doing Gran Turismo 4 with B Spec as well, like maybe two playthroughs, but I don't know. That might be a little bit too optimistic right now. Gotta play the regular game first. But dude, this B Spec stuff is so much fun. Well, Ishii just lost first place. Damn, LaRusso's leading now? Alright. I know, now I'm glad back. Glad I'm back home. Hello, everyone. Yeah, dude, good, good to have you back, dude. We missed you. Seriously. Hope you had a really good vacation, dude. Well, I can't spell early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, person. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's a cool dude. Yeah, dude, Hot Noodles is awesome. Go subscribe to him, man. He's really, really cool. He's super nice. One of the nicest people I've met so far on YouTube. So anyone who's not subbed to him, go subscribe to Hot Noodles right now. Alright, he's gaining on him. Right on his bumper. You know, I think his strength is going to be good because this is a much shorter track compared to Suzuka, Daytona, and Grand Valley. So I think strength won't be really an issue here. Just inching a little closer. Okay, I can't do the DTMC today because my shoulder is rusty. Already locked up the muscles after a few races, so I'll just be out here. Move me. Damn, dude. Hope you feel a little bit better because that sucks. Up to second. Here we go. Maxwell's holding on for dear life. He knows that this is for the championship. One more target to go. Although LaRusso in the rough is going to be pretty tough to beat. It looks like he has this track down like the back of his hand. I mean, he's doing really good here. This is probably LaRusso's best track, if anything. Maybe it suits the rough? I don't know. Yeah, Fernando Alonso retiring. I mean, it is sad, but if he comes to IndyCar, which is possible... I mean, I'll be happy. <laughs> I'll be even happier than him being an F1 because I'll finally be able to see him race at Long Beach. But I don't know. I'm a little bit optimistic about Fernando coming to IndyCar, but I could be 100% wrong. We'll see. But anyways, Kobayashi to the lead. Should I come to V8 Supercars? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Come on, LaRusso. Really? 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dude. Like, according to Robin Miller and Marshall Perret from... Does this car not have headlights? Probably not, because it's a time attack car. Probably for weight purposes, but damn, dude. Ishii's probably just like, dude, I can't see crap. <laughs> you heard he got invited by the NASCAR holdings to participate in Daytona? I don't think he's gonna participate there. If you saw his um, 24 Hours of Daytona interview with Jeff Gordon, he did say that like he wants to test a cup car, but racing is a whole other thing because of all the bumping, all the drafting, all that stuff. I mean, it would probably be you know a little bit too much. Maybe Ed Carpenter Racing McLaren joint team. Now, if anything, it'd be an Andretti thing because according to Robin Miller and Marshall Perret, like I was saying before, I saw Ishii's headlights were out. They were saying that uh, Zach Brown and them were still talking about it, and that was after Mid Ohio. But you know what? Regardless, let's see what Alonso is going to do in 2019. Maybe IndyCar. Maybe he's going to stay in Wool Endurance. We don't know. Luiso, you only have two laps to go, dude. Hold on for your career best finish. David versus Goliath right now. You know, seeing the race cars here, or tuner cars in this case, I wonder if Indy 500 will be changed to Indy 1000 and the same with the other 500 races. <laughs> No, it won't it won't be changed. Tradition, my my friend. I really want to go to Indy one year. That's the race I'm like the most passionate about. But isn't Dreddy using Honda engines? If it is, I can't see it happening only if it changes the engine. Well the thing is is that You gotta understand too that that the Honda engines in IndyCar are not provided by Honda of Japan, they're provided by HPD, which is a completely total uh, totally different division. Which I can't really imagine that being a conflict, you know? It's a totally separate division from Honda of Japan. HPD is its own thing. So I can't really see a conflict, uh, in a conflict interest, you know? Like, we'll see what happens. I mean, the talks are with Andretti. Then again, Harding Racing is talking to Andretti. Then again, you never know if Andretti switches to Chevrolet. Never know. HPD, Hawaii Police Department. <laughs> Why is a state, fool? You should say Honolulu. Well. Kobayashi's pretty much cruising at this point. Only a few more corners to go. see the other guys coming over the bridge need to watch more IndyCar yeah dude I I just love the series so much I mean you already know that <laughs> but anyways out of the final corner every race is on in Australia nice Kobayashi did it he wins the fourth round of the Toon Car Championship and wins the championship with one round to go. LaRusso is going to get his best career finish? Yes, he will. Because willpower? Yeah, dude, I love willpower. He's such a funny dude to talk to. Level 18. I need to know what the live stream... I need to know the website where they live stream it because they get the TV channel... I doubt I get it here. Um, you know what, Francisco? Hit me up on Discord. I'll tell you where. But Kobayashi wins the championship with one more round to go. It's impossible for Maxwell to win this thing now. Tokyo Route 246. Okay, we're going to need to decrease downforce. It's just a high-speed street course right here. What's the default? Okay, 20. I want to say 18. I want to say 40. 
Hate this track? Yeah, me too. <laughs> At this point, I don't even care what happens. Kobayashi's already won the title. Kobayashi at his home track in Tokyo. Yeah, he's gonna feel the pressure at home. He's probably not gonna win this thing. But you know what? He's already won the title. That's all we really care about at the team. He pretty much has nothing to lose. I mean, damn. The decrease in downforce has really helped. Already up to fifth. Dude, Maxwell is stuck behind the Amuse, but not for long. Oh, it's a carbon art. They're both amuses. Alright, so running a solid 5th place fi uh, position right now. I'm gonna say finish. <laughs> Race just started. Ishii could be good here. But then again, he pulls away from the field and then ends up losing it. To be honest, it's my 3rd favorite track after the NURB in 2nd and Amalfi in 1st. I think my favorite tracks in all of Gran Turismo are... Hmm. That's a really tough question to think about. Laguna Seca's first. Um, I, I can't even think, dude. Like, there's so many good tracks in the series. El Capitan could be one of them. Rome could be one of them. Like, there are so many good tracks in the series that it's really hard to just say which one's your favorite. Because I'm very indecisive. Maxwell's getting really aggressive. I mean, he probably has nothing to lose at this point. He probably wants to salvage the season. El Capitan is in fourth. Oof. El Capitan is really cool. I love Cape Ring. Some people hate it for some reason. Well, I hate it because it's a Herman Tilt track. I feel like it's just such a cookie cutter design. Well, at least like the north section. I do not like the north section at all. The south section is really good, but I don't know, man. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's my least favorite track in the entire series. That and Complex Stream, but then, then again, Complex Stream is not really a racetrack. It's more of a test, a testing ground. So I'm glad there's no races there. So Complex Stream doesn't really count, in my opinion. Well, running in third. Capering is just too long in the full layout, but I do like the south part too. Yeah, dude, the south part is fun. The periphery, the periphery, or whatever the hell it's called, that section's pretty good too. The outer section, it's all right. I feel like the outer section could be a fun NASCAR track, but the stupid circle is what I hate. I hate the circle so much. That's why I don't like capering, mainly. But Arthur was telling me that Cape Ring was based off of some kind of, like, test track in Japan, I think? That's where they got, like, the design from. I'm just letting Kobayashi do his thing. I mean, like I said, he already won the title. I actually want NASCAR's GT Sport. Me too, dude. NASCAR at, at um... See, like, having a, like, a NASCAR league and running at races like uh, Northern Isle would be so cool. Because, you know, obviously, people who run NASCAR leagues, they would know how to do setups. And it'd feel like a, you know, it'd feel like a true NASCAR. It's like a, like a race at Bristol. Whoa! Ishii in the wall. LaRusso up to first. Ishii back to the lead. Told you the 360 turn was based off of a real 360 turn in Japan, and it would be located in your front. Oh, it was you, Francisco. That's right. That's right. Thanks for reminding me. Sorry, Arthur. Ooh, Pellegrini out of nowhere.
Damn, just smacking the back bumper a lot. <laughs> The 360 turn goes left on the normal direction. Yeah, I, I just don't like it at all. LaRusso with the block. Kobayashi isn't having none of it. <laughs> just shoved his way into third. Started school yesterday. I already hate it. Oh, damn. Yeah, I only, I only have like a... Uh, semester to go for community college before I transfer so I'm looking forward to that but at the same time I'm just kind of scared I'm like oh the university level oh, I don't know what to expect my favorite part in Tokyo is the high-speed section at the after the 180 degree long turn Dude, I like this track a lot I mean I think I said I hated it but no you know what I like this place All right, Kobayashi. Clearly, the the um, CT two thirty is much more suited for this track than my GTR is. So Ishii might be able to be the only other winner this season. I know I'm like acting like this is a real championship, but hey, that's how I like to commentate. <laughs> But of course, I want a clean sweep for this whole entire series. Something really yuck happened at school when I was away, and it's disgusting. Really? <laughs> Do you want to share what it was? I'd like to hear. Badagrini is having a really good race. Maxwell won't say. All right. <laughs> if it's that bad, then uh, all right. No worries. Dude, I think Maxwell's depressed. <laughs> He's like running in fifth. He's just like, man. I don't even care. Like, I lost the championship badly. This Kobayashi kid just whooped my ass. <laughs> Maxwell has ballast depression. You know what? We've been paying so much attention to like the front runners, like Ishii, Pellegrini, L well, on occasion, Luruso and Maxwell. Let's see what's going on in the back. All right, first I want to tell them to maintain the pace. Poor Mines Lancer running all by himself. Nismo 400R. I think this is the Nismo 350. Aria Mania RX7. Or I'm a Mia, I mean. This is the HPA Golf. That's pretty much it for the back markers. The fight for second looks like it's starting to intensify a little bit. Which could buy Kobayashi some time to pull away. Because that um, HKS car is really, really good. No, I don't think that's a 380 RS. No, I don't think it's a 380 RS. I'm still buzzing about that Lambo, dude. I'm still jealous that you rode the, got to ride in the Lamborghini. I thought you drove it for a minute, but regardless, you still got to ride in a Lambo, dude. That's really cool. Like the fastest car I've ever driven in my life was a um, a late model stock car at a racing school in Irwindale, California, at Irwindale Speedway. The, the fastest I went was like around 105, 110, but still, I think that's what they were saying. Amma Mia. No, it sounds like you pronounce Amma Me. Amma Mia. Mia. <laughs> that's why I caught myself. I was like, wait, that's not right. Pellegrini is right up there with Ishii. Your dream is to drive a V8 supercar? Dude, my dream is just to drive, like... It doesn't have to be an indie car, but, like, at least, like, a... Like, a... Around the Indianapolis Speedway. Like, around IMS... Or Long Beach. That's my dream, dude. I got to ride around Long Beach in a pace car before, which was cool. In a Mazda 6 or Mazda Atenza, wherever you're from. But you can check the cars with the car list. Oh, that's right. Thank you for that. 
I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, it's the Amuse Opera Performance... GR. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Long Beach is an amazing track. Yes, it is, dude. And okay, so Ambush King and I, we are friends at Mazda. When you know, when Speed Source used to be the team before Mazda Team Yoast, they, um, our buddy named, you know, I'm gonna call him D because I don't know if he wants me to say his name, and who he works for, but D gave us pace car ride uh, tickets because there was like a little giveaway that they were doing. But he was just like, you know what, take them, guys, because we like you guys. So we're like, thanks. So yeah, it was funny because the pace car driver was just like. Like, oh, I don't really know the track that well. And Ambush King fell for it, but I was just like, mm mm. This guy's fucking with us. But, dude, let me tell you, that man took the curve so hard that you could literally feel your whole body shifting in the seat. And it wasn't even like we were using, um, like a five point seatbelt or whatever it's called, like the, the harnesses, like the actual racing belts. We we're using a freaking over the shoulder, over the lap seatbelt, a regular car seatbelt, you know? And. Dude, we were probably going a hundred and around a hundred miles an hour tops. But that um that Mazda Atenza slash six had like a little Borla exhaust, so it was pretty funny because it made a little bit of noise. But dude, that was an unforgettable experience. So this you need the six point nine seat point seat belts. Yeah, I mean they just had the regular uh, traffic car seat belts on them. So yeah, I mean, it is what it was, but you know what? I wouldn't trade it for any moment in the world. That was such a cool experience. And the cool part too was that um, John Fogarty, who was driving the Pirelli World Challenge at the time, he actually had an accident in turn 9, or turn 8, turn 8 or turn 9 during qualifying for Pirelli World Challenge. And so, the thing was is that because we technically couldn't do a whole lap with the amount of speed, with, with at full speed, basically, they were um, they were basically just like go again. We're like, oh, really? Okay, <laughs> so we went twice. My dream is gonna sprint. Nice. Best car I went into was a Ferrari F430 mile six. I just sat in it, but it was one of the best moments of my life. There was an MK1 Gallardo SL as well. Nice, bro. Yeah, I can't say I've been fortunate enough to sit in an exotic car. But still, the fact that I got to drive like a, a late model was still really cool. Like the G forces like around Irwindale Speed were pretty cool. Or they're like crazy, especially when you're not athletic. Like you really have to be an athlete to hustle a car like that around a racetrack, like like a, like an oval. Because I was like tired after 20 laps, dude. I was like, dude, these guys are insane. Like their workout regimens and all. I think Ishii's gonna get his best finish. No, actually, no, he finished second before. Pellegrini, maybe? No, not enough. Regardless, Kobayashi sweeps the entire season, wins all five races, won the championship one round ago, and yeah, he's awesome. That's all I have to say. What an awesome, awesome, awesome championship. Still level 18, but that's not a big deal. Kobayashi's now level 15. I think Kobayashi's the most experienced driver now. Not necessarily in terms of race starts and and race wins, but XP-wise, I think he is. 97,000 get Kobayashi swept away. <laughs> Damn, nearly at 200k without any level grinding. When I got to school yesterday, the sport teacher asked me to play for the school basketball team because I'm the best player there, and they wanted me not to miss out. Nice, dude. Nice to see that you get some love like that, dude, from the school. That's awesome. So, what do we win? The Grand Turismo Karting Experience Advance. Okay. AMG Driving Advance. S2000. Um, okay. 
Is it just a regular S2000? Ooh, the AEM S2000. So tomorrow, gonna play nine games. Nice, bro. Good luck on them. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is such an awesome car. I love Honda S2Ks. Like, it's one of my favorite cars ever. I am not joking. Hell yeah, sexy boy. So let's go check it out real quick. And it's a premium car too. Look at that thing. Hell yes. Alright guys, before we end the segment, let's go check out the used car dealership and see what's in stock. You know what, we're going to need a Lotus Elise for the British Lightweight Championship, so we'll go ahead and keep that in mind. Um, any French cars here? I always got picked last at PE, but I always shot the most points and moved around the field so quick they surprised me. They got surprised for picking me last. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude, I remember, like, I used to be okay at basketball. I remember, like, they picked me last, too. And, like, I ended up helping us win the game once. And, like, you know, that was for PE, not for, like, teams or anything. But that was still a cool moment. But, yeah, we're going to need this for the British Lightweight Championship. So let's go ahead and buy it. So, next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, we're going to be doing some lower level races because we need to let Kobayashi and them rest and we need to get Vargas' skill up. 